Hey guys, Tyson here with Kicker Technical Support. What I'm going to do today is help you figure out how to wire up four your L7 subs. These woofers are all dual fours. We're going to take it all down to a total two ohms to our amplifier. The way we're going to do that is you want to series your subs, parallel the leftover coils, and get your final output. So to get things started, go to the back of our subs. And what you'll notice on the back of the woofers is you have one side will have dots and one side will be a solid color. That represents each side of the sub. So this would be one side. We have our dots here and our solid colors on the other side. So to get started, just need an individual piece of wire. What we'll do is we'll start with our red with white dot. connecting to the solid black. And we'll repeat that amongst the next set of our subs. So red with white dot to the solid black. Basically all we've done, like I said, is we've just connected our red with white dot to solid black on each woofer. So this one, this one, this one, this one, we're done. So that'll move us to the other side of the sub. This is where we'll parallel everything that's left over. So what we'll do is we'll start in this sub here. This will be our solid red, positive. Black with white dot is negative. We just keep jumping from each speaker on. Solid red, black with white dot. Solid red, positive. Black with white dot. Then this one will jump over here to send signal on through our setup. So we need to come back in here on the solid red. It's positive. And black with white dot as negative. Put the last sub into the chain. Solid red. Positive. White dot is negative. We'll jump it over here to our last sub. So there we are. We're finished up now. If your box has dividers in it, it's okay to drill a small hole per divider so that you can run your jumper wire through from each sub. It just needs to be a, the hole that you make is just about as big as what your wire is. You don't have to make anything really big. Uh, just big enough to run the wire through. Uh, if you want, you can. You can go in, you can silicone it shut. You don't have to, it won't hurt anything, but you can if you want. To go ahead and finish out the setup, to run it to our amplifier, come to the last sub in the setup. It won't matter which one I want to use, just pick one of the woofers as your last sub in the setup. So I'll go in here on my solid red, my black with white dot, And this will be my lead out to my amplifier. All of these wired up in series and then paralleled out will be a two ohm load at my amplifier. Make sure that you never do or you have an ohm load that is lower than what the amp recommends. If for some reason you're working with an amp that makes its best power out at four ohm and you put a two ohm load to it, the amplifier is probably going to shut down or run really hot, could have issues. Uh, so always make sure that you work with an amp that's ready for that ohm load coming from your subs. So, just to go back over, we have four woofers that are dual fours, wired in series, paralleled to a two-ohm load to the amplifier. Hope that helps you guys out on your setups. If you have anything else, let us know. Thanks.